Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. This is a unboxing for the August Snacku box. So a few things. One, sorry, this is actually pretty late. Um, sorry, let me get the, there we go. Lights a little bit better. That's my first sorry, actually. Sorry on the lighting. Um, sorry, uh, this is actually late. I've actually had this box for a few weeks. It's just life gets crazy and you try and figure out where you can fit things in. So it's not Snacku's fault that there hasn't been an unboxing and tasting of this box. It's my fault, so sorry about that. The other thing is I'm battling something, sinuses, issues here. So I'm going to try and keep my energy level up, do the best I can with smelling and tasting. And um, if I sound weird, sorry about that because it's whatever's going on here. I need some water. I hate this time of year. Like... I always have this problem when, when the seasons shift, when it goes from summer to fall, and then when it goes from winter to spring. It always gets me. All right, so let's get into this box. So the theme on it, I think it's samurai, actually. As you can see, it looks samurai-ish. And then if you want a quick, I'm not going to read the opening thing, uh, but I will put it up there if you want to read that. And then if you want to get a little preview, you can go ahead and pause and see what's going to be in there. There's something in particular that doesn't show up in these boxes a ton that I'm excited about. Um, so when we get to it, I'll let you know. All right. The other thing is I'm going to try not to like bite things in half. I'm going to try and break them in half. This is why I have a plate down here because I'm going to make crumbs because I want my wife to be able to try another half of what I tried uh, and since I'm dealing with something, maybe it's a cold, I don't know. I don't want to get her sick. So, the first thing is, do do do, uh, variety bites. A mixture of traditional Japanese crackers includes baby shrimp senbai, dried whiting fish, squid crackers, peanut cracker ball, seaweed senbai, and sesame crackers. Peanut cracker ball? So normally I would say I'm not going to open this because we get things like this um, quite, a, quite a bit in, in Snacku. Um, but the peanut ball has me kind of interested, so I'm actually going to go ahead and open this one. Ooh. It, just, it just smells like the shrimp crackers. It's very, very strong. Let's see, maybe this? No, this looks like it would be like a twice baked um semi mm. yeah man they almost taste like fried like sweet salty soy sauce that's awesome i love that that's really good what is this is this the whiting fish maybe i don't know because there's something coming off it this one's a little fishy yeah it's fishy it tastes a little fried but it's not too fishy. It's just like a little bit of fishiness, crackery, a little sweetness. It's actually pretty good. I'm kind of a fan of that. I guess this is a peanut ball? I mean, it's a ball. That's kind of the only thing that's a ball in there, so I kind of should have known that from the get-go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So it's sweet. But it's not crazy sweet. It's almost a little bit like a honey peanut. Because there is a peanutiness in there. That's good. Actually, this is honestly one of the... Actually, this is one of the best of these types of variety bite things that they've ever done in this box, in my opinion. This one's good. So I'm actually glad that we have two of them. I'm going to set that aside for now. That's good. Uh, my wife's probably not going to like them. She doesn't like stuff like that, typically. Alright, let's go to our next thing got two of these let's give this a go so that one was under the popular snacks so, you know on this side are the featured snacks this side are the popular snacks that one was a prop popular snack this one should be a featured snack komabiki i believe is what this is yeah it feels like it is i'll read the description on that so the komabiki uh another old school favorite from bizenya a soft sesame wafer stuffed with, stuffed with locally produced mochi and a bit of azuki red bean paste. Perfect with a nice cup of tea. Okay, so this speaks to me because I like the red bean paste. 
and I like mochi. So hopefully this one's good. Oh man, it's like really soft. So it kind of like feels a little bit like a waffle on the outside. Like it looks like a waffle and feels a little bit like it, but it's super flimsy and pliable. You can see, um, you can, I don't know if you can kind of see that there's the mochi in there. It just smells like bready, slightly sweet. Yeah. Mochi and red bean paste. I mean, so in this case, I don't feel like the mochi adds much of any flavor to it. Just a little bit of sugariness. The red bean paste is mainly what the flavor is with this. And the outside, like, um, waffly cookie thing is um, just kind of there to contain everything. So there you go. You can see the red bean paste in there with the mochi. If you like mo if you like red bean paste and you're fine with the consistency or you like the consistency of mochi, you'd be down with this. I like it. Oh damn it. <laughs> Sorry. I said I was gonna like break stuff off and I already forgot that. My wife's not gonna eat this anyway though, because she does not like red bean paste and she doesn't like mochi. So double strike. I'll just use this whole thing. Not right now, but a little bit later. Just put that down. Alright. Let me get some water. Sorry, I put my water on the table that my laptop is on where I'm recording, so it kind of like shakes it a little bit. So my apologies on that. Okay, so here, let's do this. Uh, this is another one of the featured snacks. It's a sesame senbai. Love senbai. If you've been watching these, you know it. Um, I'll show you. It kind of looks like, like a bird seed suet cake or something like that. Toasted sesame seeds are kneaded into a rice cracker sent by and then lightly baked in a clay oven. A simple yet delicious snack from Bizenia. That's another one from Bizenia. Which actually I've never even heard of that area. So it's kind of new to me. It's kinda, there we go. Usually the packaging is relatively easy to get into with these Japanese snacks. Yeah, see. Like I said, it kind of looks like a suet cake. It smells a little nutty, actually. It smells a little peanutty, which is interesting. It's kind of like peanut. I mean, I guess that's kind of like what the sesame is doing with the sugariness that's in there. Because it's like sweet, sugary, a little peanutty. Kind of smells like a peanut butter cookie because there's a decent sugariness to it. It smells like a cookie. Hmm. It's a little chewy, actually. Like, it's kind of crisp, but it's kind of chewy. And I think part of the reason for that is it's very dense with the sesame seeds in there. And the sesame seeds are, like, kind of hollow on the inside. So, there's a lot of give. Um, it just mainly tastes like sweet. It's like sugary sesame seeds. Damn it. I didn't break this off either. Oh, well, it's fine. She's not going to care for this either. She's not huge on sesame. What does she like? I'm going to ask that question. I don't know. We'll find something in here. It almost does start to taste a little bit peanutty as you keep going, but it's a lot of sesame flavor. It's just like sugary sesame. It's good. I like it. I like sesame a lot too. That's another thing. I just find that like a lot of these things that are popular flavor-wise in Japan, I'm just like... I'm all about it. Awesome. Okay, let's go with something on the featured side. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Kappa Ebison. Kappa Ebison. I don't know. I do my best at pronunciation. So this is arguably the most popular snack in Japan. These have been a staple Japanese snack since their release in 1964. Once you start eating them, you won't be able to stop. Okay. Challenge accepted. There we go. Nice. I like ones you can open cleanly on the top like that. Ooh, they smell. Oh, yep, there you go. I failed to notice the shrimp on the front. Shrimp, prawn, I don't know. Whatever you want to go. I know there's probably a diff. I know there's a difference, but I just, I don't know. Yeah, so it smells like shrimpy. Yep. 
It's like all I smell. So that flavor clashes with that sweet sesame thing I just had. So that's kind of rough. But the more I eat it, it's kind of light. It almost tastes like a puffy potato chip with a little bit of that shrimp flavor. It's not super pronounced. So I actually like this, and there's a little bit of a saltiness to it. This is pretty good. I see what they're saying. If you don't like any shrimp flavor whatsoever, you're not going to be okay with this. But if you're okay with some shrimpiness, you'll be all right with this. It's it's. I like it. I don't like a lot of shrimp shrimpiness to it. That's good. So, you know, it's got to be on the low end. That's good. I enjoy that. Pretty, pretty good. Sorry. Uh, okay, I think this is the Black Thunder. Oh, yeah, there's, like, lightning on it, so it should be. I think it's upside down. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so the Black Thunder. Original snack. This is on the popular snacks. Original snack that can only be found in Tokyo. A chocolate crunch that covers baked brown sugar glazed peanuts. Sounds up my alley. I, I Obviously, like a lot of people, I like chocolate. I love peanuts and peanut butter. So, should be good. Oh, this looks like it melted at some point, maybe. You see the bottom's kind of, like, melty looking. Yeah, you see it's like, crispies in there. I'm just going to eat this whole thing. If my wife wants some, she can have the extra. That's what we can do. Whatever. I assume there is one. Oh, no. There might not be another one. Oops. Oh, no. Wait. There it is. I was almost potentially in trouble. Really nice milk chocolate to it. It's sweet, but it's not crazy sweet. I definitely start to get the peanuttiness. There's a really nice crunch from those, like, crispies in there. A little puff rice. No. I mean, it starts to taste a little Kit Kat like with like the wafers because of like the the crispy little puffed rice. That's really good. That's really tasty. Um, that's probably the most milk chocolatey tasting snack, uh, Japanese snack that I've ever gotten in one of these snackus. And it is really good. They said it's only available in Tokyo. Yeah, you only get it in Tokyo. It's really good, though. Black Thunder. Really nice. Hmm. Definitely have to cleanse my palate after that. It's so rich, so chocolatey. Very, very tasty. Great dessert. Okay, let's jump to this. This is interesting. And this is already... This one's already, like, broken in half, so I'll be good. Um, This is from the featured Honey Sugar Waffle. When... Tokugawa became the shogun, he moved the Japanese capital to Edo, modern-day Tokyo. Yokumoku is a popular high-end snack shop in Tokyo. They recently came out with this new snack, which has been a huge hit. This crispy waffle cookie is drizzled with honey from rural Japan and baked to perfection. Well, you can assume there's honey because there's a bee on it, and it's kind of like shaped like a honeycomb, which is cool. See, I like that, for the most part, they make their packaging pretty accessible. Like, you can really get in there easily. In the United States, it's not as much. See, it's like honeycomb. It's like half of it. So, it kind of looks like a waffle. kind of looks like a waffle. It smells like, like, bran. You know, you have, like, um, like, a raisin bran or something like that for breakfast. It's got, like, a real grainy brand type smell there's a little bit of sweetness but not a lot definitely smell the honey too got a really nice crunch to it oh the honey is really nice it's not crazy but you can definitely taste it and it kind of just coats your mouth and it stays with you throughout um what you're tasting It's crunchy, but it doesn't hurt your teeth, so it's got, like, some nice give. You can easily go through it. Satisfying. And it does taste... It does not taste like super processed honey from, like, a large corporation. It really does taste like 
more rich and flavorful, and it has more um, dimensions to the actual honey flavor. I like that. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite in this box, but it's pretty solid for what it is. It's not something I would naturally reach for and be like, oh, something with honey. I'm not huge on, like, honey-type snacks. You know, like when I was a kid, I liked Teddy Grahams, but I only really liked the chocolate chip Teddy Grahams, not really, like, the honey graham ones. And I didn't like the the honey honey made graham crackers. I needed the cinnamon ones. Those were the good ones, in my opinion. Okay, next, let's go with. I can break this in half. So this is another featured one. This is Goma Hitohira. Oh, what's up? Sounds like there's a lot of crumbs in there. A limited edition black sesame cookie made by the famous Ginza Tama Tamaya snack shop in central tokyo the slow baked charcoal cookie sandwich is in the shape of a sakura flower petal and is filled with a slightly sweet black sesame cream i had black sesame stuff in this box a few times and uh been down with it so hopefully that continues i mean the big thing is i just like sesame in general so no oh, it held together okay i'm missing a little on the bottom but yeah it just looks like it's just black so this one I am going to remember to actually break. There we go. Okay. So I got a little bit for me. It kind of looks like an Oreo. You know, it's like white cream and then the black on the outside. What does it smell like? So it smells kind of like a sugar cookie. Like a honey-driven sugar cookie. With like a little bit of a vanilla hint, which I'm assuming is coming from the cream. And a little sesame. Mm. Oh, there it is. It takes a little bit. You get all the sweetness up front. You get a little bit of a vanilla, a little honey. And then the sesame kicks in on the very end. And it's like a really nice kind of toasted sesame flavor. Mmm. Oh, still stuck on my finger there. Yeah, it's good. I like that. It's a little weird for like a cream filled cookie to taste like a really toasty sesame flavor, but it works. It's good. And it does taste a little bit ashy on the finish. Maybe that's like partially suggestive. So I'm just getting it. I feel like it does taste a little ashy, which is fine. Okay, next thing. This must be the Mikawaui. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally screwed that up, I'm sure. Mika Wowie? I don't know. Um, Bizenya has been making snacks since 1782 in Tokugawa's hometown of Okazaki. This is, I'm not going to say the word again, is one of the first snacks that they made, that they made the store first, when the f store first opened up. There's some words missing. Red bean paste from Hokkaido is filled with locally made mochi, and stuffed in a wafer cookie stamped with the family crest of the Tokugawa family. Okay, so mochi in there, red bean paste. That's not, oh, what's not for me to like? Sorry. I don't know which way it goes. My bad. All right, here we go. I can just eat this one straight up and not try and break it in half. Because like I said, my wife doesn't like mochi. She doesn't like red bean paste, so. Ooh, it's very crumbly. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's like real, like a really thin wafer on the outside of it. Don't really smell like anything. It actually smells a little like mothballs, which is weird. Mm. I don't like that like wafery thing on the outside. It's just like really dry. Yeah. I don't like that, but I like the red bean paste in here. It tastes very, very strongly a red bean paste. There's a little bit of the mochi in there. I guess mainly just for texture. I mean, when you have something re like red bean paste with mochi, it's just like the, the red bean paste just dominates. You're not going to taste anything from the actual mochi. See? So. Mm. It's okay. If you really like red bean paste, that's pretty much all you taste. 
So it's for you. Man, I got like so many crumbs on me. I'm a slob. All right, we're getting there. We got two more, two more. And actually, I, I went through all the featured ones, just so you know. So what's left are two of the popular snacks. I'm going to save the one I'm, excuse me. Ugh, things are on the move here. <laughs> I know you probably didn't need to know that. Um, I'm going to save the one I'm most excited about for last. And you, you're, when you see it, you're, you might be like, why are you that excited about that? But you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, so this is a Sky Tree Baked Chocolate. This is a very classy packaging right there. Well, there's nothing on the back, but classy. Base, uh, based, oh my gosh. Baked milk cookies filled with milk chocolate. These cookie cookies are only available if you visit Tokyo's Sky Tree Observatory. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. So I bet they look so nice because it's like a touristy thing. So that's probably why. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool that, like, it's pretty exclusive then. You know, it's hard. You can only get it at that place. Yeah, these just look like little, like, whitish cookies with some chocolate in there. They look good. I'm not going to break this. I can't. Ooh. I smell so much chocolate. That's pretty much all I smell. It's like a really nice kind of milk. It's kind of like a mix between a milk and a dark chocolate, to be honest. It smells really good. Actually, a little more on the milk side. That's pretty much all I smell. It smells very nice. So, okay. So it tastes good. The like, but it's like the cookie is like powdered milk kind of. So you get that like milk flavor and then you get like the milk chocolate and the chocolate tastes really good. And the milk flavor is fine with that chocolate because milk chocolate and milk is fine. But the texture is really weird and throws me off because, like I said, it's like a powdered milk on the cookie part on the outside, and it's kind of gross. Like, it's real grainy. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because, uh-uh. Because when I bite into it, it just immediately starts, like, falling apart into, like, just this grainy. It's like kind of having, like, real fine sand in your mouth. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like putting like confectioner sugar in your mouth or something. Actually, a little more grainy than that, but I don't like it. Tastes fine, but that texture is terrible. Like that texture is killing me. Ugh, it's kind of like almost nails on a chalkboard. Like for me, I have that problem with textures. Like another big thing for me is um, like uh, cereal marshmallows, like those dehydrated marshmallows that you get in things like Lucky Charms. Ugh. Can't do it. Chewing on those, oof. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Ugh, just thinking about it, it's like, ugh. Even, even when they're soaked in milk. Even when they get, you know, way more soft. Okay, so here's the thing I was most uh, interested in, most excited for. Strawberry high chew. If people don't know what high chew is, I mean, it's kind of like, like Starburst or... I was going to say like Laffy Taffy, but a little more like Starburst than like a Laffy Taffy. Um, the thing I like about High Chew versus things like Starburst and Laffy Taffy in the United States is they're sugary and they're like chewy, but they're not super sugary, especially in comparison. The sugar's way dialed back. You taste more of the actual like fruit in it. This extremely, extremely popular soft chewy candy was made, was first Geez, sorry. It was first released in 1975. This specific flavor is made with Japanese strawberries. So use actual strawberries. It's not like flavors. That's another thing. In the United States, if they made something like this, it would be like made with strawberry flavoring or made with just random artificial stuff. So they're individually wrapped in there, which I like. That's nice. And they're not big. They're relatively small. This one has a nice pink look, like you would assume because of strawberry. Yeah, it's a nice, like, light pink. It's a little white in the middle. Sorry. My sciences are going crazy. Ooh. Yeah, it's very, like, strawberry aromatic. It's chewy. I was thinking, it's like, it's sweet, but it's not really sweet.
So it's almost a little milky. Because there's like a creaminess to go along with the strong strawberry flavor. And it does taste like, you know, you get like real strawberry, but it's like concentrated. It's kind of what it tastes like. It's really nice. Sorry. It takes a while to chew these things. I bet there's some people who are like, oh my God, I can't handle that sound. It's really good though. Mm. Yeah, let me put this one thing over here. All right. So. There we go. Done. Sorry. Uh, let's sum up what my favorite ones were. Actually pretty impressed with those variety bites. These things. Um, the high chew, obviously, which I just had. I was pretty excited about. Um, other than that, really did not like that sky tree cookie the one with the like the powdered milk outside no thank you the black thunder was quite good but that also tastes like something you could probably get in the united states just less sugary version um other than that the sesame senbai was another thing that i really liked um so yeah those were my favorites i would say overall a good box it's always good to just try new things not my favorite box not even close to like my top five i don't think but it's always fun to try new stuff, and um, I'm excited. Oh, I was almost going to say I'm excited for the next one. I'm actually kind of not excited for the next one for the September, which actually I might get the video out in not too long because I'll get it in like a week or two. Um, it's mainly focused on like fruited jellies. I So I don't know. Um, could be okay. But I'm just thinking ahead and I'm like, I don't really, uh, that doesn't sound that great to me. But I'm sure there will be some other stuff thrown in there too. So let's find out together the next time. Thank you everyone for checking this out. If you appreciate this or any of my other videos, I would really like it if you could hit that subscribe. That's the best way to pay me back. I don't make money on this or anything. I don't have sponsors. None of the stuff's donated to me when I do unboxings. I'm paying for this. So if you could just hit that subscribe, do me that favor. It's like painless for you it takes like a second and then put some comments down there what did you think about these snacks what sounded interesting to you what sounded terrible to you let me know and we can kind of talk a little bit and thank you very much for checking this out and until next time keep it brutal